Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. I just hit 10,000 subscribers and I want to say thank you so much for helping me get to that point. Thank you for all the likes, the comments. Thank you for sharing my videos, inviting new people to watch my content. I really, really appreciate that. Thanks for the constant encouragement. Thank you for the trolling and those people that talk about my accent. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> and yeah, but um, just let's get into today's video. And today we're going to be talking about vignettes and Vignetting helps your subject stand out in an image by just making the areas around your subject a little bit darker and there are different ways to do that. Today I'll be showing you how I do my vignetting in Photoshop and how you can do it in Capture One, which is similar to how you do in Lightroom by use Capture One or Lightroom. So yeah, you guys can, you Lightroom users can check that out too. But yeah, so the first thing I'll do is create a new layer right here, uh, or you hold Control or Command, Shift and N. To create a new layer, pick your gradient tool right here and click on your gradient editor. Once you get to your gradient editor, all you have to do is make sure that you only have black there. And the way to do that is to understand how this works. Now the top part both affect your location and the opacity of your gradient, while the bottom part will affect colors. So we just want the black color and no other color. Now if I take if I click this top one right here and I increase the opacity to 100, you can see it brings the white color that is here back. So what we want to do is delete this white color right here, and this opacity, we're going to reduce it to zero. Now, if you open your gradient and it already looks like this, then it is fine. So the next thing we want to click is the radial gradient. That's what we want to use, and after that, make sure you tick reverse. Make sure reverse is ticked right here and hold your shift key and draw a straight line down and what that does is what shift does is that um, it just helps you to straighten the line that you're drawing <laughs> whenever you're using photoshop i think almost all the tools in photoshop when you use a brush and you are trying to stroke in a straight line and you hold shift it helps you you know just draw a straight stroke yeah with your brush so now that we've done this, what I like to do with my vignette is, like, this will work for some people, but what I like to do is I want some color back. And the way to do that is by changing your um, blend mode to soft light. As you guys can see, what this does is it just enhances the colors and just makes it a little bit darker. And what I'll do with that is reduce my opacity to 50. And you guys can see the before and after. Looks really good. The colors around my subjects are like very enhanced and they are darker so it just makes my subject stand out at the same time it makes the image look really really good and this is how i love to do my vignettes like this is it basically very simple easy and straightforward now i have the same image in capture one without a vignette so i'm going to open capture one now and show you guys the image so this is the image right here and how you create the vignette in capture one is by coming to your exposure tab right here come down to vignetting um, depends on how you want it. If you want uh, this, this, or I tend to use a circular one and just draw this back. And that's it. It creates a nice vignette around your subject. This is fine, but it has no blend modes like attached to it. So it will not give you the same effect that the one I do on Photoshop will give you. So I prefer doing it in Photoshop and um, not capture one. But if you have to do it in capture one, then you already have the option there too. So yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you love this image, I would love to retouch it. Then I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can download the image. It's an A7R3 file. So it might not work in, um, on older versions of both um, Lightroom and Capture One and even Photoshop. So you guys have to have like the latest version to be able to work with this image. If you've edited the image and you want me to post it on my page, I'll be posting um the best edits on my instagram stories so you guys should definitely follow me on instagram to check that out also if you post this on your page do not forget to tag me as the photographer and give my youtube page a shout out and yeah if you guys do that well then i'll post um or i'll give you guys a few more images to edit as time goes on so thank you so much for watching today's content like don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with anybody you feel like would love to be a part of this community also comment below let me know what you think about today's video and this image i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day peace